Hello, my dear students. A very good morning to you all. Today we are going to start new topic. The name of the topic is the amazing story of Kibjo Keno. Now Kibjo Keno was an athlete. So today we are going to see the story of an athlete whose name was Kibjo. Kenyan. So let's get started. One of the Kenyan's greatest Olympic athletes, winning the gold medal twice, Kipchoge Kip Kino is also one of the world's most admired sporting heroes. Now Kipchoge Kino. He is the gold winning Olympic athlete. Not only that, he is also admired by world's most sporting heroes. Kip was among the first in a long line of successful middle and long distance runners to come from his country and has helped and inspired many of the fellow countrymen and women to become the athletes force that they are today kip he was first uh, who successfully ran a uh, middle and long distance races uh, from his country that is kenya and he has helped and inspired many other men and women uh, of kenya to to become athletes The story we want to share is about the time Kip was almost late for his own race and had to literally run to get there. Then won a gold medal anyway, despite suffering from a gallbladder in infection. Now, in this uh, lesson, you are going to see the incident, one of the incident of Kipchoge Keno, uh, when. He reached late for his race, and he won the gold medal in spite of his infection in gallbladder. He had infection in his gallbladder. In spite of that, he ran and he won the gold medal. Kip's grit and determination is winning a gold and silver medal. in the 1968 olympics endured him to sports lovers around the world now kip's grit grit means courage his stubbornness he was so courageous so stubborn and because of his courage and determination uh, he won the gold medal and silver medal in the olympics in 1968 caused to like or love so he in 1968 olympics he won gold and silver and this caused uh, him to be loved to be liked by most of the sports lovers around the world that drive and single minded determination to succeed against all odds has today made him one of the great benefactors to underprivileged children in kenya so that drive drive means urge or desire the desire and determination to succeed in all odds in all the difficulties in all the problems has made him a uh, one of the great benefactors benefactors who helps for good cause so now he has become a benefactor he helps uh, for the good cause of the underprivileged underprivileged poor needy people so he uh, keep helps poor and needy people Kino is best known for his 
training at 1800 meters above sea level which helped introduce high altitude training as a technique to improve running time at any altitude. Now, Kino is best known for the training at 1800 meters above the sea level. And this technique of running 1800 meters above the sea level has helped him to improve running time at any altitude. So at any altitude, he could improve his running because he achieved the training at 1800 meters above the sea level. A member of the Nandi tribe, he was born in Kipsano, Kenya. He came from humble beginnings and his name Kipcho is a Nandi expression that means born near the grain storage shed. Now, Kipcho Kino was born in Kipsano, Kenya. Uh, he belonged to a Nandi tribe. The name of his tribe was Nandi. He belonged to Nandi tribe and his name Kipcho means born near the grain storage shed. So that is the meaning of his word Kipchok, which is a Nandi expression. As both of his parents died when he was very young, Kip moved in with his aunt who raised him. Now, Kip's parents died when he was very young. So after death of his parents, he was brought up by his aunt. When once asked about his childhood and how he got started running, Kip responded, When I started at primary school, I ran in my bare feet 4 miles, 6.5 km to school in the morning, from home, uh, home for lunch, again for afternoon school and back at the end of the day. I did this every day until I left school. So when uh, once he was asked about his childhood and how he uh, started running at that time he said that uh, when he used to go to primary school which was far away from his uh, house it was nearly 6.5 kilometers that is 4 miles so he used to run barefoot from his house to school then again he used to run from school to house for having lunch. After lunch again he used to run from home to school and again after school at the end of the day he used to run back home. So this habit developed and later on he became an athlete. He did this every day till he was in that school, till he left the primary school. After finishing school, Kip did not immediately get into competitive running. Instead, he worked as a physical training instructor for the Kenyan police force before becoming an athlete. So after leaving the school, Kip immediately did not take part in any competitions. Uh, he worked as a physical training instructor uh, to Kenyan police force. So he was the physical training instructor of Kenyan police force. And then after that he became an athlete. Kino began his international running career in 1962 when he set a Kenyan record in the mile running event. So Kino, he started his career in the year 1962. When did he start his career? In 1962. So at that time, 
He set a canyon record in a mile running. At the 1964 Olympics in Tokyo, Kino represented Kenya in their first game as an independent nation, finishing fifth in the 5,000 meters. So later on in the year 1964, Kino took part in the Olympics, which was held in Tokyo. He represented uh, Kenya, and in that he stood fifth in 5,000 meters running. Later, in 1964, he set two world records at 3,000 meters with a time of 7 minutes 39.6 seconds and at 5,000 meters with a time of 13 minutes 24.2 seconds. Then again, later on in the same year, that is in 1964, he set two world records by running 3,000 meters in 7 minutes 39.6 seconds and 5,000 meters in 13 minutes 24.2 seconds. So by running this, he set the world record. His greatest feat came two years later during the 1968 Olympic Games in Mexico City. Now what do you mean by feat? Feat means an achievement which requires great skill, great strength. So his greatest feat came two years later during 1968 Olympic Games in Mexico City. So in 1968 the Olympics, Olympic Games were held in Mexico City. At that time greatest uh, his achievement which required great strength skill came that was two years later and that is in the year 1968 unfortunately for the entire duration of the games Kip was suffering from an acute gallbladder infection so during this olympics Unfortunately, he was suffering from the infection in gallbladder. He had infection in his gallbladder. And because of that, he almost collapsed while running the 10,000 meters. So as he had infection in his gallbladder while running 10,000 meters, he almost collapsed. He fell down. This was especially proved when you realize that Kip was in the lead when he was overwhelmed by the pain and he had only three laps to go. So, he, when he collapsed at that time, he was just three laps away from the, from winning. He was leading at that time and uh, just three laps behind he fell down by stepping off the mark after he collapsed he had automatically disqualified himself uh, as he collapsed as he fell down by stepping off the track so as he was step off of the track he disqualified himself determined to finish the race anyway he stumbled back onto the track and despite the pain managed to do the final laps even though it did not count. So even he fell down, even he uh, disqualified himself but he was determined to finish the race and so he gathered all his strength and he got up and again he started running. But he knew that it will not be counted even though he ran. The eventual winner of the race was, was one Naktali Temu, another Kenyan who now holds the honor of being Kenya's first gold medal winner. So now uh, 
he and he was disqualified but then too he completed his race eventually the winner was another kenyan his name was naftali tem so now he holds the honor of being kenya's first gold medalist so we'll see what happened next in our next video till then take care thank you